In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to record accounts receivable in QuickBooks Online. Whether you're a business owner or an accountant, managing accounts receivable is crucial for maintaining healthy cash flow and ensuring that your financial records are accurate. Let's dive right in and guide you through the process step by step so you can easily handle your accounts with confidence. First, start by logging into your QuickBooks Online account. On the sign-in page, enter your credentials and click on the Continue button. If you haven't yet created an account, you'll need to sign up for one, but for today, we're assuming that you already have access. Once you're logged in, the main dashboard is your starting point. Head over to the left-hand side and click on the New button to create a new entry. This is where we will record the accounts receivable. After clicking New, another menu will pop up. Here, you want to select Journal Entry. This option allows you to record various types of transactions that are important for your financial records. Now it's time to enter the journal date. Look for the date field at the top of the journal entry page. Enter the date that corresponds with when the transaction occurred. This helps keep your records accurate and matches the timeline of your business activities. Next, we need to identify the account affected by the invoice. Find the first account drop-down list and select the appropriate account. This is usually an income or sales account depending on where the revenue from the invoice is intended to be categorized. After selecting the account, enter the amount in the debit column. If you are unsure which side to debit or credit, remember that accounts receivable increase with debits. An accurate entry ensures that your financial records hold up to scrutiny. Then make sure you enter a reason for this journal entry in the description field. This can be as simple as referencing the invoice number or detailing the nature of the transaction. Including a clear description will help you, or anyone reviewing your records in the future, understand what this entry refers to without having to consult other documents. Now, let's reflect this transaction properly by selecting Accounts Receivable from the second Accounts drop-down list. It's imperative that Accounts Receivable are credited appropriately, signifying that money is anticipated from a customer. Following this, select the customer involved in this transaction from the Name drop-down list. This step links the receivable amount to the correct customer account, ensuring your records detail who owes what to your business. Finally, review your entries for accuracy and hit save and close to complete the transaction. And that's it, you've successfully recorded accounts receivable in QuickBooks Online. Keeping up to date and accurate records is essential for smooth business operations, and with practice, this process will become quick and easy for you. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more QuickBooks tips and tutorials.